Okay, this is going to be a, uh, well, Sierra chart tips and tricks, uh, number five. But really, this is going to be mainly about just getting your Sierra chart uh, to uh, have a dark theme, okay? So the first thing you want to do um, is the dark theme I use, which tends to make a lot of the uh, background screens and windows dark um, is you go download Penumbra 10 and I think it's hosted at uh, DeviantArt okay so there it is and you know give it a download now make sure that you read this as before you install check if you have the right version of Windows make a restore point I suggest do all of this install open sans right included in the, in the download in the font folder if you don't already have it <clears throat> uninstall any patch if you already have one uh, have if you've already installed one uh, that includes UX style ultra UX theme patcher etc so install the ultra ux theme patcher uh, and then reboot after the install again it's all here all right just read through it so install the uh, theme patcher first reboot your windows right we can all imagine i've rebooted windows now so now go back and where was it where's the download download this install it and then so that's done now go into your display settings oh opened up on another screen and go into your themes you will have penumbra 10 I think they'll be like 10 s 10 w maybe a few other ones I don't know just use penumbra 10 okay select it It'll change the theme. Go to your colors. Choose for your color dark, right? If you want transparency effects, fine, have it on. Okay, makes things look a little bit different on, let's see if I can find this to see that. So that I like it off. It's a little darker. Okay. So you've done your colors, your theme. I don't know. Maybe you change your background to something solid. Whatever. Doesn't matter. However you want to do that. But you need to do those two things. Okay. Then go back into Sierra chart. Right. Open it up. As you open it up, you'll start to notice, hey, the windows are, a lot of them are dark. But within Sierra chart, a lot of these uh, buttons and borders and uh, various aspects of the chart are not going to be looking how you want it to look. So you need to go into your global graphics settings global. So global settings, graphics settings global. And you need to adjust every color and width and get the fonts looking how you want them to look again I've got mine set to Arial um, you know however you want that to look is whatever that's fine but you know play around with it make it look pretty for me it's more about space savings uh, space saving in Sierra chart and uh, readability I guess so for me, Arial, Arial regular number eight font um, works for that. Okay, so if you want to copy my settings, uh, because there is a lot here, um, you just you have to change this. It's, there's no two ways about it. I don't share chart books. Um, I you know I don't uh, share my Sierra chart configurations. My uh, study collections etc I just don't do that right I'm 
the goal here for me is teaching folks to do it themselves, um, not to you know share a bunch of things. Um, you know, if you want pre-made uh, chart books, um, you know subscribe to uh, someone like Ticino Trader. Uh, look him up if you don't know about him. He you know I subscribed for a month or two. And uh, when he moved off Patreon to his own site, I just never renewed. But uh, maybe I will. I'll take some time one of these days to go uh, check out his website and see what he's got going on. But, uh, um, you know, it's it's a very affordable uh, service. And there's lots of other folks out there that will ser sell you chart books. And some people will share them. Um, but not me. I don't, I don't have the time to uh, <laughs> share chart books with everybody. So it's just not going to happen. So don't ask. So I will go through and show you the settings here, okay? So there's, I'm just gonna maybe spend a second or two on each one so you can pause the screen. Okay, ready? Here we go. Wonder how long this is gonna take. I need some elevator music. It's okay, I'm watching my kid. All I have to do is time the down arrow button. He is playing with his daddy fire truck, that's his biggest fire truck. And he's made a littler fire truck out of Legos. And <laughs> he's messing around in front of the fireplace with them. Pretty stinking cute. Three years old little over three years old. Again, not all of these colors um, matter to the dark theme. Look all these link numbers. Nah, they don't matter. The control bar. Yeah, a lot of it does matter. So, with that in mind, I will go through the areas that don't matter faster. And the areas that do a little bit slower. This section of the time and sales get you a nice looking time and sales window. But you got to turn off like uh, grid lines, etc., in uh, the time and sales settings. So this is going through the chart DOM, which is separate from the trade DOM, like a standalone separate uh, DOM. That's its own. Uh, chart. All right, when you overlay the chart, the DOM onto the chart, that's called the chart DOM. See how these are enabled here, the chart DOM last price? Check to see which ones are enabled and which ones aren't, and that way, you know. When there's a, an uptick, it turns green. When there's a downturn tick, it turns red. How I had that set up is how you make that happen. So rewind it, pause it. So we're halfway through. How long is this? Almost 10 minutes. My kid is really content today, so it's allowing me to <laughs> spend time <laughs> doing this. I was even able to trade the clothes, which was nice. So 
So this is going over the chart, the trade window. And a lot of this stuff, like this area here, the chart trading position lines, order lines, buy stops, that's going to be all according to what looks nice to your eye. Again, this is now the trade down, not your chart trade uh, trade down. This is for your chart down. This is your tr standalone chart trade down. So to get it to look how you want it to look. A lot of these only matter if you add those columns to your trade down. So. One thing, if you open up your uh, task manager in Windows, it's going to be white. It'll reset Penumbra, and all of a sudden you'll start getting white uh, borders around some windows. So the fix is um, simply changing in your Windows personalized uh, settings the dark to light and then back to dark again and hit apply and it'll fix that so that's just a windows thing sierra chart uses a lot of the windows older windows architecture for for their coloring and stuff oh, okay yeah, hold on just a second. I'm almost done, okay? I guess the Netflix paused, didn't it? Mm-hmm. No worries. So this one matters, the spreadsheet colors. And there it is. So cancel this in case I made any changes. So anyway, going back, let's see what was I talking about. Okay, so selecting a chart and then um, hitting uh, the chart and show title bar. If a chart is attached to a chart book, all right it will and you show the title bar it'll default to whatever that uh, Windows Task Manager uh, color is right so like this ugly blue so the workaround for that is not to hit chart and then un, um, un deselect uh, show title bar okay so then it goes to the dark now if you show the title bar and then you go up to window and you detach it from the chart book the title bar will be dark okay so you know you could go to each window and you know if you wanted aspects of your uh, your main chart book uh, to be visible up here um, for maybe some of the settings or something like the global settings you could make this chart book um, always on top, okay? Right, and then it would just always be on top. So, where did that thing go? I'm gonna attach it again. Uh, where are you? Oh. Attached. 
remove the title bar and this is how I keep everything. It's attached to the chart book which gives you the advantage of having it in tabs here at the bottom. Again if you've watched previous videos of mine you know how to do all of that. Um, so if you detach it it'll be a separate window down here which I just find navigating wise sort of sucks. So. There you go. That's uh, how you uh, achieve the Sierra chart dark theme. And uh, so anyway, I could point everybody to this video. So that'll save me a lot of time. You don't know how many people ask me for how do you do the dark theme? And I've put it on Twitter and it's buried in replies and responses. So uh, 15, 16 minutes. Okay. Happy trading, guys. Take it easy.